Hey, what is up guys? So I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a binder uh, theft prevention lock thing device. I don't really know what you want to call it, but uh, basically it prevents your cards from being taken away from you. Uh, if you are a vendor, this is really great to actually have uh, because I know sometimes you guys have those glass cases. Binders are much better to use, but they don't generally use them because, you know, people can just grab the binder and run off. Uh, whereas this, you can uh, basically showcase a lot more cards. And I used to be a vendor myself, and this is like the best invention ever. I wish I actually sold these so you're gonna need a few things for this you're gonna need this like donut thing it's item number 56 at ace or miners uh, hardware store uh, basically it's just something used to actually smash uh it down and then you basically smash it down in between two uh galvanized uh steel cables very very strong cables trust me no one will no one will cut this i mean pretty much once they see this they're not gonna even bother trying to steal your binder but uh if they really wanted to, they'd have to use like a, I don't know, they'd blowtorch or something like that. Because it doesn't cut very easy at all. You can try to use scissors, you can try to use uh, wire cutters. You need like heavy, heavy duty wire cutters to actually cut these. They're ridiculous, but uh, once they see that, like I said, they're just going to uh, not bother with this. I'm actually doing this uh, as a voiceover because at the time of recording this, my neighbor decided it was time to play music as loud as possible. So... Uh, basically, I think now I'm showing you guys uh, where you, the wire actually goes. You're going to need two pieces of the galvanized uh, wire, and uh, you're going to need it. I put mine at 48 inches each. You can, you know, gauge however uh, long you want it to be. You can make it longer, shorter, whatever you need to do uh, for it. But I did 48 inches, and then there's two of them. And one basically goes on the inside, one goes on the outside. And then you use those little, like, donut things. Um, I'll let you guys know what it is in the description box if I can find the name of it um, and as well as and everything else that's needed. But you need the monster binder that has those little circles on the outside because I feel like those ones are the, uh, the strongest ones. Some of the, uh, I don't know if they're called satin or matte, uh, those ones don't uh, work as well. They can work though. I just, I think monster binders are probably the uh, strongest that uh, work for this. But uh, basically, you put uh, three donut things. Uh, <laughs> on the uh, wire total and uh, it prevents your binder from being uh, taken away because if you guys go to very large scale tournaments uh, you know people do steal binders it's a thing unfortunately I wish you know we wouldn't have to make these things so people wouldn't uh, you know uh, take it from you guys but it cost about I'd say was that like 17 bucks was the total for everything um, I also bought these um, covers for it uh, which I'll actually show you guys later so here's actually uh, part of the step where I went outside and I actually taped it up and then uh, the tape is there just temporarily just to hold down the wire while I get everything uh, situated but basically you lay uh, one wire in front, one wire in back and then uh, you put one donut on one end and then the other donut obviously on the other end and uh, I think I also show that black wire right there uh, that just makes it look nicer, it's unnecessary they're about three bucks a piece so you can save yourself about five, six bucks if you just opt to not uh, use those. But uh, I definitely think they're good to use because uh, it makes the whole binder look really awesome. I'll show you guys in a few minutes once uh, it gets to the part where I actually show off uh, the binder once it's completed. But it's a pretty easy step process. It say it takes about uh, maybe half an hour-ish. Uh, the first time I did this, it took a long time, but uh, you can see I've already hammered the donut on one end, and that's the unhammered one. Uh, they look kind of gross, but uh, we'll be uh, covering it up with tape later on. So. At this point, it's pretty much finished. I just need to uh, hammer down the... Actually, no, I did hammer down the end on that. I'm just going to be uh, covering everything up in tape so it looks nicer. That's totally optional, but you'll see it looks pretty darn awesome uh, in the end. I, I think it looks even better than the regular Monster Binder. It's got that pink and black theme over there, and here's what it looks like when it's completed. So uh, I've got that cable, and it just looks so clean. I love how it looks, but... Uh, Hope this helps you guys out, whether, you know, you're a vendor like myself. Uh, I used to do this all the time. I used to vend cards, and, you know, sealing, it happens, it sucks. So thanks for watching, guys. Asian Eyes, signing out.